right now this next step we're going to do um I should do this right now um, is uh, cover the creation of Chronicle so we can hub this together. So when we go in here we have we now have two nil files. We have our inside map and we have our outside map. We also have two scenes. We have our inside uh, scene and our outside scene. And I covered what the what the scenes have. The the nil files they have the solid uh, they contain the information on the solid brushes. Uh, they they contain structure, they contain um, texture settings, and they contain the, the static light information. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to we're gonna make a multiplayer compatible hub. And all we need to do is just create a uh, text file and we're going to for for my particular settings I chose not to hide a uh, an extension for known file types. If you're in Windows 7, you can go to Folder Options, go to View, and turn this uh, Hide Extensions for Known File Types, and uh, turn this off, and then click uh, Apply and OK, and then you'll be able to name the file. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to create this as uh, my multiplayer map. I'm going to call it that. That's how it's going to appear on the list. And I'm going to have this NSC. Now that part's important. Let's make sure that it's a .NSC file. Then we're going to open this with Notepad. And the first thing, what, an N N what a Chronicle needs to have, it needs to know what locations exist on your map. Um, we could take an example of Chronicles right, right here. There are plenty of examples here, like uh, every map has to have a location. It needs to have a location, plain and simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this right here, and I'm going to just apply this. And we're going to call this uh, outside location. This is what this is the name of the map that will appear on the storyteller location list. So when you're in multiplayer and you're going to storyteller mode and you're going into your location list, this is what's going to appear. It also we also need to load my outside map dot nil. And right here, this uh typically we have to put the word location. I'm gonna note that location we need to have the name we need to have the nil file and um, we only need the designated NSD file if we are working with custom scenes that are outside of the static layer otherwise if this is null it's automatically going to, no to load the NSD file that is uh, matched to this nil file and that file has to exist period if it does not exist you're gonna have problems you're gonna have serious problems um, this can be null um, this is a, this is actually a map uh, TG this is actually a map interface um, and uh, that's that's a little more complicated uh, that's that's gonna go for that's gonna be explained later and this is a uh, map locator so when you're at this position, uh, this is where you'll be uh, shown on a map location. And these are the flags here. Uh, I'm going to show you what flags are available for a location. Um, you can actually go into um, you can actually go into codex codex.java, and it'll have a list of the location flags that exist. So when we look, when we look at this here, um, in my tutorial from my mo making a mod tutorial, um, I also have I have codex right here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a search for location. Okay, these are the location flags right here, and these are hex values. So 
you have you know, what what's available is no save. You can you can have a flag that says it doesn't allow any objects to be saved. Um, transient, I wouldn't use that. I wouldn't use this either. Um, this here is if you want to show a location on the map from from your own custom NUI file. Like when a player presses presses M for a map, you can have the location of something show up immediately. I I'll cover I I could cover uh, making maps later on. <clears throat> And haven location is a haven and should be indicated as such on a map. Um, that means it'll it'll change the appearance of the the locator beacon. It'll it'll change the way it looks so that to indicate that that is a haven location. <clears throat> um, no teleport. This makes it to where players at this current location will not be able to use. <clears throat> the uh, the Haven teleport discipline for for players that use that Haven teleport discipline that uh, walk the abyss discipline um, this uh, this makes it to where if you put this uh, flag on that that location the discipline will not function it won't it, it won't be allowed to work and then we have the clear buffer this will remove any hall of mirrors effects that uh, may exist in your map. Um, it's useful for making your map look more pretty. Um, I would I would recommend any location to have this flag on it, no matter what what other flags you consider. So yeah, these other flags I wouldn't bother because they're engine flags. Don't set these. And uh, what's uh, what's set up initially? If you look at uh, look at the flag I carried over from the Dark Age map um, that that is already set to where you cannot use uh, Haven teleport you can't use the walk the abyss there and it and it also clears the buffer and I'm gonna create another location I'm gonna create a, the location for the inside map and that's gonna that's gonna go that's gonna link to inside map dot nil and again, we don't. These can be null because we're not making a map yet. <clears throat> so now, what we need to do is uh, we need to link. We need to link outside with inside, and we do that here as well. Um, I'm going to need another file to show you for an example. Let's take uh, MP Curse of Darkness. So. To link one map with another, you need to take the name of that location as it was inputted in the location uh, uh, declarations and the exit number. And the exit number. So <clears throat> I know that I created an exit number one for the outside map. So what I do is I, I, I input exit outside and that's going to be one and that's going to link to then we just separate it by a space or a tab and we're going to link it to the inside map and we know that we have an exit at zero <clears throat> so now outside links to inside um, and end piece alone so I'm just copy pasting out of laziness here. If we wanted the players to start out inside the house. We could put a revive lock there, and that will that will set the players inside the house to begin with. Um, or you could just move this. You could you can make it to where this is on the top, and then you won't need this revive location if you did it that way. <coughs> but I'm going to start you outside. That's how that's how I want the chronicle to work, and this uh, this flag is important here. This allows us this uh, first off the zero x six. So what a zero x flag says is that this is a multiplayer chronicle, and it requires a storyteller. That's essentially what you're saying by putting zero x six into the flag of a chronicle.
So now we should be ready to to run this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to knob this. I'm going to take and knob it, and I'm going to show you what it's like to get this to work as a distributable file. So all we need now is we select these three files here. We go in and we add to archive. We set this to zip. This to storage. And I'm going to call this mymaps.knob. What this does is creates a knob file. Now we're going to take this and put this in the main directory. And now what we're going to do is we're going to start up multiplayer. 